Warning, this video contains themes of violence, gang activity, and death. This video was made for educational purposes and in no way glorifies gang activity or any of the people involved. We made all efforts to make sure our sources are accurate so we can give the most accurate video possible. With that being said, let's get into the video. In today's video we're headed to the city of Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia is the capital city of South Carolina. It's home to the South Carolina State House, a Greek revival building set in gardens dotted with monuments. Riverbank Zoo and Garden is a huge park with animal enclosures and botanical gardens. With a crime rate of 35 per 1,000 residents, Columbia has one of the highest crime rates in America compared to all communities of all sizes, from the smallest towns to the very largest cities. One's chance of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime here is 1 in 28. Today we're going to be focused on one man in particular, Donald Benson Jr. or as you may know him, DZ McDuffie. He is currently serving time in federal prison for gun charges. DZ McDuffie comes from one of the most notorious hoods in Colombia, the Gonzales Gardens and McDuffie which ran along the Gonzales Gardens before it was demolished in 2017. The Gonzales Apartments was ran by one of the biggest gangs in South Carolina, GKB or the Gangster Killer Bloods. From the early 2000s up until it was demolished in 2017, the gang terrorized the apartment complex and anyone who went against them. Formed in the late 1990s, GKB is said to have originated on New York's Lower East Side and were reportedly one of the first blood sets or subgroups to have been established on the East Coast of the United States. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, the gang originated in the New York, New Jersey area and migrated along the East Coast to other states such as North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia and Maryland. G-Shine appears to primarily make its income off of drug trafficking, but the gang has been known to engage in other profitable criminal activities as well. Countless acts of violence have been linked to GKB in addition to numerous gang-related murders that have been traced back to the group. Violence is utilized by the gang for the purpose of maintaining membership and discipline within the gang as well as against non-gang members. DZ McDuffie is one of the biggest members in GKB currently in South Carolina as reported by the Columbia Police Department. It wasn't just being a gang member that made him such a high-value target to law enforcement, it was the things he did and was willing to do for his gang. Benson is known for his stylish gangster rap but in the city of Columbia he's known to be a real demon, leaving many scared for their lives. DZ McDuffie or Donald Benson Jr. had been the victim of three different shooting as you can hear him saying in interviews, he'd even survived being shot in the head, twice. On January 23, 2015 Midlands Gang Task Force made two arrests in a gang-related attempted murder investigation. Their two targets were Donald Benson Jr. and another member of the gangster killer Bloods, Eugene Bell. They believed on that night around on November 30, 2014 at around 2.30 in the morning, Benson and Bell would travel to a nightclub searching for one of their rivals. Bell is accused of assaulting the victim inside the building, then forcing him outside where Benson was allegedly armed and waiting. Once forced him outside Benson would shoot him three times being fleeing the scene. They would both be apprehended and charged with assault and battery, breach of peace, and attempted murder. He would be held at the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center to await trial. While awaiting trial on that October Benson would be one of 11 inmates charged with inciting a gang riot while in the county jail, video surveillance captured him throwing food trays and chairs. He was later sentenced to years in prison. After serving years in a South Carolina penitentiary Benson would return to Columbia, South Carolina, but this time he would decide to really persuade his rap career. He was working his way up to becoming one of the biggest artists in South Carolina until his luck ran out again. Evidence presented to the court showed that on October 5, 2018, an officer with the Columbia Police Department, who knew Benson and knew he had a suspended driver's license and outstanding warrants, approached Benson. Benson fled on foot as the officer attempted to make contact with him. 
During this flight, Benson tossed a loaded firearm from his jacket and continued to flee before the officer finally apprehended Benson. Evidence was also presented of Benson's status as a validated gang member. Benson was sentenced to 50 months in federal prison after pleading guilty to being a felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition. He's due to be released in 2024.